God, praise God, praise God. Um, someone was calling just a scam. All right, so um, I'm actually going to start a series again. This is the second part of witchcraft. And the reason why God want me to continue with this is because of the fact so many people are being fooled. So many people do not understand how it is. And I want to talk about something. A lot of people say, well, if you do not believe in it, it cannot hurt you. You are looking at the person, but you are not looking at who they summoning, says the Lord. Now, you're right. Technically, a person cannot hurt you because we know that God protects us with his angels. Come on, somebody. That's why he says, thy rod and thy staff. The staff means the angels of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The warring angels. Everybody has angels. Come on, somebody. You just don't wake up on your own. I promise you. There are some angels that you can't see, and there are some of us that can see them. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Praise God. Praise God. So, a lot of people say, well, it can't hurt us because you're looking at the person. You have to understand who they're summoning. Just like we pray to God, right? We pray to God. God gives us the supernatural. God give us the anointing. God give us wisdom. Well, who? Do, what do you think Satan gives his people that practice witchcraft? He summons them. But now here's the deal. Every time they actually summon power, spells, um, um, can cantations, um, when they do levitations, everything that they do, they summon with, and they have to do something with the blood or hair, or they have to draw something. And so you have to understand how powerful that thing can be. All right. So hold on. I'm actually going to go with something again here. Hold on a minute. Okay. I got some things right here that I want you guys to see. Oh, why is it doing that? I knew that was going to try to, you see how they do? They crazy. All right, so in that day, the Micah 5, 10, 12, it says, In that day, declares the Lord, I will destroy your horses from among you and demolish your chariots, but I will destroy the cities of your land and tear down the strongholds. Then he says, I will destroy your witchcraft and you will no longer cast spells. I want you to really look at that. This is what they're doing in this season. Hold on. I'm going on a whole different level today. Have you ever, as a matter of fact, I got to tell y'all a story. Why? I always got to tell a story, huh? But it's the truth. So um, I remember when I was in college, I met this guy um, and I was actually dating a, a guy already whom I was very much in love with. He's from Kentucky. His name was Chris. And I never forget this Jamaican guy. His name was Edward, Ed, um, say Xavier Edward something. Um, he's from Jamaica. And he walked up to me and he said, girl, I'm going to make you love me. And I ain't going to lie to you. I said some choice words to him. I wasn't really saved like I am now. And I said, if you don't get out of my face and I'm telling you something happened because I ended up breaking up with my boyfriend and I didn't understand that. But I remember them taking me to a, um, a Christian person and she prayed over me and that thing broke. And I'm serious. I was about, I was about like 22, 23 or something like that. So I remember things, you know, and so I'm, I'm going with somewhere with this. Oh man, I hope nobody don't get offended, but I got to go here. I'm very leery of these Africans and other people. It doesn't matter what ethnic group you are that try to fall in love through Facebook. You know, they're always sending you friend requests. Come on, somebody, y'all walk with me. And a lot of people end up marrying these people. Okay, so I want to ask you a question. Can witchcraft actually um, come into an emotional standpoint? Yes, it can. It happens all the time. You, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and work that thing out with you. On TV, um, who was it? Robin Givens and Mike Tyson. Do y'all know the story on how he actually married Robin Givens? Y'all probably don't even know. You know he saw her on TV when she was um, on that show? I forgot the show. And that's how it really started. He said, look, I want her. And y'all already know the rest of the story. I don't have to say anything. Well, that is a lot of what happens. A lot of people see people and say, well, I want that person. And then they start doing whatever it takes. That's witchcraft. Because it's called manipulations. They cast spells. It, it can it can be such a, um even a bullying spirit. Well, come on, somebody. I'm going to walk with me. It's about spirits. So it's manipulation which is rebellion, which is sin, which is witchcraft, mean I'm going to make, manipulate, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you. Y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And how you know is because you start doing things that you don't really normally do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So when a person 
loves you more than they love God, is that also witchcraft? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going somewhere. This whole thing, I'm going somewhere. I'm talking today about emotional witchcraft. That's what I'm really talking about. So many people are involved in emotional witchcraft. Have you ever dated somebody or even was married to somebody and you moved on with your life, but you couldn't stop thinking about that person? It's called soul ties, which is emotional witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me today, but I'm going to keep on going. Let me tell you what a soul tie is. All a soul tie is a, a, a bond. Come on, somebody, a stronghold. Uh, whether you had sex, whether you kissed, oh, come on, somebody, I'm going here. Even when you kiss somebody, don't you know, you know how they say, well, let's kiss, let's tongue. You, you, do you understand what you're doing when you tongue? You are tying your tongue together, huh? Are y'all ain't ready for me? Come on, somebody. When you have sex, when you make love, what happens? Your body's intertwined. So don't you understand whatever comes on them um, is from you, whatever you have is comes from them. Which craft let me tell y'all something even in the movies y'all wondering why these kids are killing each other they know what they were doing when they made those movies they made them so powerful let me tell you something your 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 spirit is more powerful than your flesh because guess what it's a spirit entering in it's a spirit of enticement it's a spirit of seduction it's a spirit of i'm gonna make you do that thing i'm gonna make you be that person i'm gonna come on somebody hallelujah you keep living you're going to see and you're going to understand why God says guard your eyes, guard your ears. That's why he says meditate day and night on this. Why do you think God says meditate? Because here's the deal. Whatever you meditate on, that's what you become. Whatever you meditate on, that's what you want. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some people that just want money, why do you think they go to a gambling casino? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to talk to you about witchcraft, emotional witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going to break that thing all the way down. It is by what you see and hear. That's why even in a home, they say, you know, raise a child up in the way that you want them to go. And here's the deal. You ever notice that if, if 10 out of 1, if a child lives in an alcoholic family, they say statistics say, that's not just statistics, that's a spirit. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. How many times have you seen an abusive father and then the son is abusive? Everything is a spirit, which is witchcraft. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, I'm going somewhere. Do you remember back in the day when T.D. Jakes did a um, sermon called Spellbinder? He, he was trying to, he was saying that it does matter who you marry, who you're friends with. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All of that can count as witchcraft because whatever you tie yourself to that's what you're gonna go through I say I'm saying something whatever you tie yourself to that's what you're going to go through it took me a long time to understand this thing that's why I, I, I take it very seriously every relationship come on somebody I'm walking out with this thing you have to you know a lot of people say well let me tell you what the enemy did the enemy came in oh don't judge you better judge everything and everybody because guess what you don't want your daughter just marrying any kind of person y'all ain't ready for me you don't want your son just marrying any kind of person you don't want Oh, hallelujah. You don't want to be involved with any kind of person. You don't want to be friends with just anybody. Come on, somebody. How do y'all think murdering spirits? Do you know most of the people that are murdered are murdered by friends and family, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Everything is a spirit. A lot. I, I met a guy lately. As a matter of fact, it was last week. And I didn't understand this because he was a pastor. And he said something to me. He said, I don't believe that everything is a spirit. Um, excuse me. We're living in this world, right? And God says that we're not of this world. So now I'm going to break that thing all the way down. God blew in out in Adam's nostril and he made man, right? So if he blew in a spirit of him, he said, Let, let's make man in our image and the likeness thereof. So if God is a spirit, we come from a spirit. How is not everything a spirit? I am. Come on, somebody. Even the devil, he made him. So everything is spiritual. Just we living in this fleshly body. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So yes, you will have flesh, but you will have spirit. And God says that whatever you walk in, that's what you possess. If you walk in the flesh, you're going to reap the things of the flesh. You walk in the spirit, you're going to reap the things of the spirit. Today, we're talking about emotional witchcraft. I never understood why. You know, do you ever notice liars hang together? You ever notice thieves hang together? You ever notice successful people hang together? What do you call that? That is like-minded people, which is what? Like-minded spirits. I'm going somewhere. 
Today, I want to talk to you about if you want your life to change, if you want to get closer to God, then you're going to have to choose people that are close to God, people that walk with God, people that talk to God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you have anything contrary to what you want in your life, then you need to cast down that spirit, which is a stronghold. Come on, somebody, which is witchcraft. Anything or anybody that does not line up with your life, your calling, come on somebody, hallelujah, and what God have told you to do is not your part of your destiny. The enemy sends people on purpose. He sends distractions. He sends spirits. Oh, come on somebody, hallelujah. He will send, God will send people to help you to actually go to your destiny and, and to get to the next level. The enemy will send people to stop you from getting to your next level. Come on somebody, hallelujah. So it is a battle and it's a spiritual battle. That's why they call it warfare. Well, what are they using this day? highly emotions and, and I, I can tell you and I'm gonna break that thing down even when you get in church you will have two things you will have an emotional high to where your flesh soon as you get out of church you'll crash it'll be like okay that was good that was all right or you will have a spiritual experience to where you will cry you will get home you say I gotta change I need more of God I can't do it like this no more Everything starts with the emotional spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and that's why God was telling me, he said, I need you to bring this up. He said, because people don't understand. That's why God says, guard your uh, spirit. Guard your anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You can't just listen to anything. You can't just accept anything. You can't just eat anything. You can't be around just anybody. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I pray that you're getting this because I hope that I'm not just talking. I hope that you're really listening and understanding. A lot of people are saying, I'm not happy. I don't understand. You need to ask yourself, what are you allowing in your life? And who are you allowing in your life? You need to do an assessment. God says, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You need to write on a piece of paper. Who is beneficiary into my life right now? Do I have negative spirits or do I have bad spirits? Do I have emotional ties come on somebody hallelujah and i guarantee you you do and when you start really looking at your life you say wait a minute i don't want that thing in my life right now and that means that you might have to cut off somebody that you like oh i'm going somewhere i'm going somewhere let me tell you what i did when i was married um when i had left my ex-husband I never forget what God was telling me because by that time, I really, I really didn't. I knew he wasn't on my level, but you know how you fall in love or lust. Let's just put it how it was. I think it was mostly lust. And I never forget what God told me. And I've said this before, and I'm going to state it again. God says, Deanna, you will never go where I need you to go if you stay with him. I just said something. And I don't know about you. I wanted to go, and I'm not even there yet. Come on, somebody. Oh, I'm on my way, but I'm not even there yet. Don't you understand, people of God, on your journey, you're going to have to get into an emotional state of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Where God, I want you. I want you to take over my mind, my soul, and my body. God Show me how to do that thing. Show me how to walk in that thing. Show me how to walk in prosperity. Show me how to walk in success. Show me how to walk with the people that love you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what this live is about? Cutting emotional ties that is not of God. Emotional witchcraft. Some people that you're friends with are draining you. They are draining you and not sustaining you, which is called the python spirit. It was, I mean, every time they, every time you look, they got a problem. Every time, I mean, I know we got problems. Don't get it twisted we all have issues but if every day you got an issue you somebody lying somebody lying that's how we're gonna get to our destiny place you're gonna have to do an assessment of your life god says because the enemy is sending emotional witchcraft to drain you not just emotionally but financially come on where does it all come from a spirit uh the enemy has sent somebody into your life friendship relationship you gotta you, you gotta check out everything that's what this is about today this live is about that you have to do a, a, a very and look you got to be real with yourself because i'm gonna tell y'all what y'all do i like them i love them but are they are they crucial to you actually benefiting by growing in god or are they distracting you or are they hurting you you understand what i'm saying here oh come on somebody hallelujah
So I want to get on here and guess what? I'm not finished. I'm going to do a series of this. Today was emotional, emotional witchcraft. Think about it. That's how they plan on our kids. Bullying. Got these kids wanting to kill themselves, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus. It's called emotional witchcraft. That's what they do on Facebook. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You, you, you tell the truth. I need y'all to send up hearts. I need y'all to send up hearts and they'll start speaking and they'll start. I'm talking about emotionalism, but did you feel God? After you got off of that, did you feel God? Was there a change in your spirit for real? Or did you just get excited because they were talking about what you wanted them to talk about? Or they just sounded good? Or they amped you up about blessings? Or you won't get a blessing, turn around five times. Or come on somebody, PayPal me. Y'all know how they do it. Everything is emotional. It's an emotional witchcraft. So I pray in the name of Jesus that with this, after you listen to this one, do an assessment. And I'm not kidding. I don't care if it was me. You don't hear me. Whoever threatens your relationship with God must go, says the Lord, because that's where we are in this hour. The enemy is sending too many distractions. You know what hurts me? I've taught a lot of prophets, and I see them, and I'm not trying to jab nobody because somebody going to think somebody trying to jab them. If you listen to it and you think that, well, guess what? If, it's, if the shoe fit, wear it, lace it up. You know what to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. A lot of people will get married. And forget about what God called you to do. You know, doggone well, God called you to be an apostle and a prophet. Well, you know, I just want to be married. Well, you go ahead with your little marriage stuff and you forget all about your calling. And then at the day of judgment, when God asks you, and he will. Because we all were put here to do what God have called us to do. There are assignments to stop you, people of God. And there are also people that will propel you and push you to your destiny. I'm one of those people. I'm going to speak what you don't want me to speak. I'm going to say what you don't want me to say. Sometimes you're not going to like me. Sometimes you're going to say I talk too much. Or you're going to say a lot of stuff. But I promise you I'm going to do what God have called me to do. Hallelujah. And I've already given him my life so it really don't matter. Hallelujah to his name. And that's where everybody has to get. You know, God is calling out the remnant these days. And he's not letting nothing get between them. Matthew 6, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness we not even that right so what is coming between you and your calling what is stopping you said the lord is it emotional because i guarantee you it's some witchcraft going on that's what they're using right now it, it could be money it could be on a job well, well I, i'm gonna send a job to anything to keep them from god so they can't go to church anything to wear them out so they can't get in their work anything to stop them y'all don't hear what i'm saying because let me tell you something they know souls are at stake and the enemy is willing to do whatever it takes by any means necessary but guess what so is god hallelujah but god is righteous and the enemy is not hallelujah to his name so god bless you god keep you and i pray that you do a serious assessment and be real with yourself. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.